Welcome everyone to the first episode of this vlog series we're going to do on this conversion kit. Basically what we're going to cover here is what might fail over the life of this engine kit and talk about some issues that I had when I got it out of the box and put it onto the bike itself and hopefully there's some of those tips will help you if you're putting on a kit yourself. So stay tuned we're going to cover some of those points and we'll go from there. So one of the most time consuming ones was definitely putting the sprocket on. Uh, there's a couple pieces and you'll find out if, when you get your kit or if you watch anyone else's videos that just usually takes the longest lining all these up get everything perfectly centered so that this is uh, not wobbly so that the chain doesn't jump. Uh, another thing I had issues with was the clearance on my air filter box fitting the frame. Um, now don't do this I'm not recommending this this is what I'm doing on this particular bike but I omitted the filter housing itself and I just have these just if uh, we're riding somewhere and it's dirty or if it's rainy I can just kind of push these over that way nothing dirty is getting sucked into the air filter itself and going on to the carburetor um, um, the cover here I had to go out and get a new screw they powder coated or you know spray painted everything here so a lot of the fittings um, like when I put the spark plug in down inside the hole it was painted so it, it really it had to take its time to thread it in there and I actually took the engine back out and shook it out because it felt like some of the paint was going down into the uh, cylinder itself and that could be problematic to the engine and I think the same with every screw here, it just everything was kind of painted over that was threaded. And that's it, that had some issues in itself. This one stripped out. This was a real pain in the neck because on the back there's a nut that was powder coated over. I keep saying powder coated, it's probably spray paint, but because you got to take this cover off to get the chain to go on. And this, this had to come off, and I actually put a little grease inside here. Uh, that was another problem area. Um, on this particular model of bike, the diameter of the aluminum was too big, so I had to use a persuasion bar <laughs> to kind of pound these over and use a uh, just another piece that they have in the kit supplied. Um, it just mounted around the side here instead of uh, a nicer, cleaner look. And what I actually did was the bolts here were on the back down here. And these were longer, and that's where I needed longer bolts, so what I did was flip-flop the bolts that were in the back, you know, flip-flop and vice versa. Um, the tank itself, um, oh yeah petcock on the other side same thing spray painted up into the threading so putting the petcock shut off valve on was a real pain in the neck and I thought I was stripping it honestly uh, but it turned out all right um, aftermath had to take this out because it started to drip just a slow drip up here so I put some Teflon tape on there, uh, have two hose clamps on either side just to make sure that there's no dripping. This is like cheap material, this hose. It's a little bit down here, but yeah, it's, that's not bad. So I ended up doing that. I also pulled the cover off and greased the inside of here. So what I wanted to mention was it starts off with a 16 to 1 ratio, so that's pretty that's a lot of oil. That's a real thick mix. And there's probably four or five hours on this bike. We put a whole gallon through it now. I'm switching to a different ratio. I'm not going to say which because I don't want you doing this to your bike and messing it up. But I switched the ratio up. I pulled the park spark plug out three times and it was very oily. But I believe now that I switched the ratio, the spark plug is going to be fine. I won't have to pull it for a while except for when I do some routine maintenance. I believe that is it. I'm not sure if I missed anything or not, but 
where I want to leave you at today after this video was if you have any questions or comments, if you run into any issues, leave a comment below. Hopefully I can answer them for you. And I'm just going to do a video probably every two weeks or if something would happen in between those two weeks. And I will share that with you guys on this video series. But I thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next time.